What's up guys? I'm gonna give you a little bit of a show of what we've been up to the last few days and I'd like to talk to you about how I constantly stay productive. Okay, so the last time you saw us packing and moving and you saw the boys room was in my video titled We Destroyed Our Room and we kind of did. But since then there's been a couple of unique changes. So first of all, this is all full of stuff. This whole side is full of boxes and stuff ready to be packed. And me and Zeke are still sleeping over here. But much of the changes that have occurred have been in the rest of the building. So let's go, let's go, let me go show you what's going on. All right, so for starters, we have taken off all of the art and pictures in our house. We love art in general. So we have taken those off. We took off our blackboard from inside the kitchen. So we've been taking down a lot of the stuff that's been hanging on the walls. So all of those are down. They're getting packed. See, no more paintings. Only this one, because this one's not ours. But besides that, no more paintings, all gone. Mom and dad, hard at work in here, packing up boxes, trying to get all of the books packed. Dad still has a lot of pastoral literature, a lot. But we're making progress. So that's what all these boxes are. In the bathroom, we've taken down all of our mirrors and hangers and everything. This one's still being fixed, it's being glued, so we haven't taken it down yet. But besides that, everything in the bathroom, gone. The girls' room, the desk is gone, shelf is gone, dresser's gone, beds are gone. It's just this giant empty space now. Huge empty space. And Elijah's room is also just empty. Nothing but stuff inside. All the furniture and whatnot is all gone. Cool fact about this room is this room originally was the boys' room. And there's probably a bit of an echo in here, but what's cool is I spent a lot of my years growing up actually in this room. Uh, we'd play with Legos down there on the floor, have pillow fights and sword fights in the beds over here. And there was three of us in this room, so uh, kind of crazy that we're packing it up. Nobody's gonna be in here anymore. All right, and this is where I have spent most of the last two days working, has been out here on the porch. So when you come out here, all this wood, you see this huge pile of wood? All of that wood was up there in the rafters of the porch. So all of that wood had to come down today, and we dealt with that. Um, as well as all of this stuff. Here's some stuff from the attic, which we also did today. Stuff from under beds. Um, just stuff, just a lot of things that were sitting out here, especially wood. We have, we have a lot of wood. Wood, wood everywhere. So the porch is sort of our big collect zone for all of this stuff like uh, that shelf, for example, that just needs to be moved. So that's what we've been doing, mostly, was cleaning this porch from all the stuff that was already here, and then today, taking everything out of those rafters and stacking it there. And also, today, we got into the attic. Right up there. Got into the attic and pulled everything out from there. So that's what's been going on. All right, so moving and cleaning and packing all that stuff has been what we've been up to probably the last three days or so. Uh, I haven't really been vlogging it because it's been a lot of work. We've been moving timbers, we've been working on stuff. It's been a giant mess, but it feels good to know that we're starting to get things done, things are getting cleared up, and uh, soon we will be able to move. So that's exciting. All right, so now to talk about productivity. Pretty much most people on Earth, I would say, need to be productive on a consistent basis. You need to get your time managed so that in a small amount of time you can get a lot done. And oftentimes when you start a big task, like for example, cleaning or moving an entire house, it 
seems pretty big and you can quickly get discouraged and then you're like, what do I do now? Do I have the resources to do this? Do I have the time? And, and it can quickly go nowhere. What my mom and dad ended up teaching me that I'll now share to you guys is uh, how to consistently stay productive. Um, and a lot of it comes from the right mindset. When you enter into a situation that needs a lot of work, for example, today we cleaned out all the porch. So we had to get all the wood out of the rafters, pull it down, um, brush it clean, and then wipe it down, and then stack it. Now when you look at it like that, it looks like a lot of work. Like, this is a lot of wood, it's a lot of work, can we even get it down? So the right mindset to approach this would be, what can I do? And a lot of people end up asking the wrong type of questions and thinking the wrong sort of way when they approach a task. When really the right mindset is, what can I do? So maybe I'm not strong enough to pull all the beans down. Well, can I go find the person that is? Can I prepare the space so when they pull down the wood, it'll be ready to stack? Can I go find the brooms and the rag to make sure that we have the cleaning supplies on hand? So instead of focusing on what you're not able to do, Focus on what you are able to do. And when you focus on what you are able to do, you get a lot more done. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Not a very complicated thing, not a very complicated tip. Just like I said, when you approach a problem, look at what can I do. So in almost every situation, there's always something you can do. And if you focus on what you can do, usually the rest will work itself out. All right, so that's my little tip and bit of wisdom for you guys today. Hope that's helpful. Um, I want you guys to be productive in whatever it is you're doing. And uh, yeah, hopefully get the most done and get the most out of your day and the most out of your life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel down below to uh, get more great content like this. Comment, tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.